Good afternoon. Oh, what a day. What an afternoon. Rain, wind, more rain, more wind. Oh dear. Anyway, we're in here, for better or for worse. And so, uh, it's been quite good actually. We've done quite a little bit, and so we're alright with it. Um, it's been okay, as you can see behind me. 14, I had to, uh, 13, I had to go 14, I could barely not stop 13. But there's still a bit more antler than that left yet, so there's plenty of space to go. So, uh, but we're, we're happy with the way things are progressing. Uh, we went and invested in a, a new Dremel. Very good. Very pleased with it. Um, it took me a while to get around to buy another one, actually. But I was never sure whether I was going to go back chicken around with the sticks again. But it's, it's, it's always a love. And it is a love. It's a love affair, actually, really. <laughs> you know, uh, you just get carried away with the whole thing, like, you know. So, um, and it never, it never ceases to. As long as I'm building something different at times, I'm fine and I can keep moving. That is great. So, uh, but the Dremel were very pleased with. Bought it from, uh, bought it from Amazon. Buy everything from Amazon now, you want bloody line, and it's so easy to do. <laughs> what can you say? You can't beat them for price. They're usually delivered within a day or so, so it's magic. You know, uh, there's not two merchants left anywhere around about. You can pick them up elsewhere, there's no doubt about it, but uh, sit in that big chair. I don't do the order, and the son does the, the order, and it. Or if I give him the money, he pays for it, and whatnot. He's got all the stuff to do that. I don't take part in that kind of thing, like, you know. But it's easy for me if I had access to paying for things online, and God knows what we'd end up with, right? So anyway, uh, but £38. Can't be that. Uh, good. Comes with a little 15 piece kit with it. Not nah, brilliant, but it'll do for a while now, I don't know. I was going to use some of the old stuff I had from the last one, but I was looking through and there's kits there you get, there's a 50 piece kit that goes with it. £10. Or just over £10 or something. Oh, just buy a new one, it's, it's that price. Just a bit. But uh, I'm very pleased, very pleased with it. Uh, as I say, it's been busy working away on the antler, cleaning up and buffing back to the, the shanks and whatnot and that. So and uh, shaping off the, the hardware I'm putting on the ends of the, the antler, so it's been alright. Uh, and I've got somebody coming to see me about one. Just a metal the other day there actually. And uh, so he's coming in to get one off me. Uh, by a, a, a battle trying to get money out of mind you, that's the thing. Fine. We'll do our best. <laughs> it'll depend on proper. Maybe my baby a bathroom going on, you know, okay. Uh but it was, it was, it was asking me a shout, you know like what a day is beaten? I went, oh god no, I'm not bloody beaten anymore. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> I enjoyed it when I did it, but I don't do that anymore. I'm not too bloody so on that, like, you know. And, uh, but I did enjoy it, uh, but we were quite fortunate and we, we beat for um, a private shoot. <coughs> and it was, uh, I'll tell you who it was, it was uh, David Murray, the then time owner of Rangers Football Club. Uh, and businessman and all the rest of it, and it was his shoot, and uh, we were spoiled, we were really spoiled, what can you say, it was, it was pissed the out of it actually, and uh, we were better paid than any other shoot about, we were 
fed, the, the car would come through from the club um, in the middle of the day uh, with food, hot food and everything for us. And, and you know, it was just great. Uh, and we'd be lucky if we did. <sighs> some days, I hate to say this, but some days we. We did get driving with them, we did have some drives like you know, but uh, we were lucky for them free drives. Most days I just look at all, but they were all oh, people in money. They were, it wasn't, they were just out for the day. And uh, for them it was, it was just something to do. And all the famous football players and I came along, Gaza and various other characters and whatnot, I didn't know any of them like you know. Uh, but. <laughs> <to shoot. laughs> in fact, there were one or two of the drives actually, you know, the high drive anyway in particular that she done well. They take they take the birds too early as they were leaving, and uh, as they were breaking cover, they would take them too early, and they were told not to wait till they go up. But they would, it's just the excitement of it all. They would break early, they would get, go early on them, and bloody lead would go hanging through. Like, you know, you keep your Keep a bloody tree in front of you. <laughs> I'll try and keep a tree in front of you. But uh, there was a quite a few close calls at times, like, you know, but in general it was alright. But Jim would get the fire kindled up in the body in the morning, we'd be around in the morning, get the fire kindled up and get the place nice and toasty for them. So by the time they'd been out there on a cold day and got in there and the food came and all the rest of it, and the two or three drinks, we were all the right to drink on the go, and the, 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 even for the last beers, there was all the right to drink on the go, like, you know. And uh might have to with the bring our own, mind you, they were not keen on uh give this thing at the end of the, the end of the season it would you would get a, you would the money there for to get a drink for you. But uh it was it was always good. It was good. Uh David Murray himself would shoot. Occasionally would shoot. And uh but for him we had to do specific drives or specific Thing that he couldn't stand a peg. He had to stand with his back against his cheek. He had two he had artificial legs, and so therefore it was difficult for him to. He had to be propped up against something to uh, keep him on his feet. And it was always difficult trying to get the birds, the birds over the top of him, like you know. <laughs> and uh, I always remember that day. <laughs> we were driving, did a drive to him, like, you know, and Jim, uh, it was like at the end of the drive and whatnot, and that. There'd been a lot of birds went over, like, you know. But the same again, uh, it's, it's good to shoot that bloody much, like. But, uh, I think he said something to Jim about it, like, you know. And Jim turned around and says to him, he says, he says, if you stop counting them and start shooting them, he says, you'd be all right. He says, ha, ha, ha. Oh, God, uh, but it was good. It was very good. And we, as I say, I'd get in there, get warmed up on a day and a cold day and Jim would come out with envelopes and I would say, I'd say, like, that's us, we're finishing them. So we're away, we were back in the pub and the bloody hope didn't shoot. They'd be still, we bloody getting dark and we're still bloody guns banging away. The beaters used to come in and say, where long these boys been in here? So he broke us after him in here, like, oh, it's alright for you. So Ron was always at us saying, hey, we can come and beat on my head, get away. <laughs> so we were like, we're all bloody night. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you miss a crack. It was, you didn't do it for the money. There was, bloody, I didn't know the money in it, like, but yeah, it, was a good, it was a good day out. And, uh, and as if, you, if you shot at the end, uh, if you should shoot, you got, you got a shoot at the end, you know, you've got, you've got you've a day, a day for the beaters and whatnot and that. And uh, no, I used to do that anyway. I stopped shooting many, many years ago, like, you know. Um, gave up killing things. Uh, I was too handy with it when I was younger. I'd you know, shoot just about anything, <laughs> you know. I was brought up again, so, uh, but in later years, I, I kind of think, unless I'm going to eat it, I'm not going to shoot it. Uh, that's it, like, you know, so I leave it be. Um, anyway, we shall leave it at that, and. Uh, Get back to you another time. I think it's it, we'll do a little bit, and then it's I think it's a shower. And, as I say, we'll not be walking, we'll not be able to walk with you. And if you know, it dried up, it'd be hopeless out there, like you know. And so uh, well, the time's moving on.